Desert Isle Crafty and I'm Christy. Hello everyone. Sorry about the noise. How are you today? I hope everyone is having a great day. Today I have a review from DIY Digital Art. They sent me these products to review and I just gotta say I just think they're adorable. They're so cute. I hope you like them too. But before we get started, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. I have a big giveaway coming. I'm almost to 2,500 subscribers, and once I hit that milestone for me, I will be having a big giveaway with at least three to four winners, and I'm really, really excited about it. So I will be talking about it more in detail when I actually do it, but if you could hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos so that you get a chance to enter. I'm really excited. It's my way of saying thank you so much for supporting me and following me and subscribing to my channel. So I really appreciate y'all. So let's get started on this. Like I said, it was from DIY Digital Art. They have so many products. If you've never been there, they're very budget friendly. Every kind of craft you could think of, along with those linen tote bags like I've shown you from Whisk, they offer them too. Uh, resin, puzzles, nail art wax seals, uh, stamps, all kinds of stuff. In addition to the diamond painting and the paint by number and the cross stitch. So let's get going on this because I have a few things in here. Okay. Now I thought this little kit was just absolute cuteness. It is a little owl. Let's take it out of the package. This is a no name kit. And this isn't real big, which I thought think is great. Let's see if I can show you a picture first. It is just the cutest little owl. I will post a big picture of it up in the corner, sitting in a little teacup, little pink owl. It's not real big, which is wonderful because it's an 11 count. So it's only 25 by 25 centimeters. I'll do a measurement on the actual canvas. I mean, it's an 18 count. So we have our... 18 count up here, sorry, 18 count up here with the item number, super important in case you need to get in touch with customer service and the measurements, great charting, grafting on the sides. We have a lot of background here and I'm thinking that background it is, it's 5200 white, so you can omit that if you want to, if you don't want to do all that white, but nice clear printed pattern really nice pattern. I like the I like the size of it considering the size of the fabric. So it looks to me like this pattern is the same size as the fabric. It is. So that is great. It's really really great. If you want to blow that paper pattern up, you can. We have our Joy Sunday instructions and I call them that because of the same instructions on the back of the Joy Sunday package. Everything you need to know about how to do this kit, real detailed instructions. We love those. Let's look at the, the fabric. So this has 30 colors in it, which I think is great. I, I'm real happy with that. I think you'll get enough detail out of that. And there's an awful lot of white. The symbols the symbols are really clear, but right off the bat, what I don't like is like over in here, you've got two different symbols, but they're the same color. Now, when you look over on here, now these symbols should match up, but you've got circles, and then you've got... Um, the sideways arrow and then you've got the slash lines and they're all in over like in his eyes you've got the blue circles with blue X's close by and the the blue plus signs in there too so that when they're all the same color on this that can be really difficult so I think that uh, it's a good thing the paper pattern's in here because there'll be a lot of referring back and forth. Everywhere else, though, 
I mean, it, there's a very clear, nice distinction in symbols and colors there, but it's just this blue. Maybe if they could have made sure that the symbols that were next to each other weren't the same color. But yeah, this is a cute little pattern. Let's get a measurement on it. So it's 25 by 25 centimeters, which is the size of the actual canvas, but the size of the picture is seven and a half inches, which is about, let's see, 19 and a half centimeters. And it should be the same up and down. It looks like vertically it's just a little bit, little teeny bit smaller. But yeah, really well made. It'll be a really cute picture when it's done. We have our toolkit with our threader and our needles, and there's five of them, and our adjustable thimble. And then we have our floss. This is such a cute picture with all these pinks. So many pinks. They do put the item number on this bag, so if you do store them separately, you can match them up real easy. Okay, so here's the two hanks of white for the background. I'd do the whole thing and see how it looks. Um, there's no back stitching with this. And I don't know if I would use one or two threads. I might use two for this just because I would like the coverage to be really full on it. But look at all the pretty pinks. I can't even name all these shades. There's just so many. I mean, there's like a, a burgundy red, brown, some dark tans. And then on this side, we just have a whole lot more pink. This will be just so cute when it's done. They're coming out with so many kits in 18 count now. And even in 9 count. Um which is really surprising to me. I've never done a nine count before, but this 18 count one is really cute. And just make sure you use a small enough needle when you do it. So yeah, that's our little pink owl. I thought it was absolutely adorable and I just had to get it. Now let's move on to the next one. Get that out of the way. First, I've got some accessories here that I wanted to show you, too. Now, that little pink owl was $5.25. What a great price. It's got everything you need in there except for maybe some scissors. $5.25 for a very, very cute little 18-count kit. These are floss organizers, and this was a set of five, I believe, for $7.75. And it goes all the way up to number 100. So this one is 1 through 20. Same printing on both sides. Nice hard, hard plastic. And then this one is 21. Oh, they got them backwards a little bit here. Okay. So this one is 21 to 40. And then we have... 41 to 60, and then 61 to 80, and 81 to 100. Look how pretty those are. So if you had a, a kit with a lot of colors, like a Heaven and Earth Designs kit, well, they usually have more than 100 colors, don't they? But if you had a kit with a lot of colors, this would be fantastic. They're just so pretty. Let's get a measurement on the size of these. A diameter. They're about five and a half inches wide. I, um, I find that I'm using these more and more, these plastic floss organizers, because on that cardboard sometimes I might pull a little too hard and rip it, and then it's just a mess. So. I just love these. Wow, these are great. 
And then I would keep them all together as a set because of the numbering on there. But for $7.75, I think this is just an excellent price. And then we have, let's open this up. This should be a threader, $5. And I tell you guys, shop around on your threaders because different stores have them for different prices. Now, right now, DIY Digital Art has a shipping special with free shipping over a $50 order. They also have $20, 20% off your uh, off of a dollar order. And then 25% off 60 and then 35% off to 200. So this is a little threader magnet. Oh, let's see if I can get that out. That I just thought was so cute. I have quite a little collection of these threaders, whether it be a threader or scissors. I it seems like I'm collecting them now. Now those were bent, but they straighten out really well. Look how cute that is. That's just adorable. It's the garden gnomes. Here's your magnet on the back. And let me get my needle. So there you go. You can keep this next to you when you're cross stitching to help you thread your needle. And then your needle can go right on there. It can go on either side. This has glitter in it too. Some iridescent glitter. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to get that light in there, but oh, it's so pretty. That is just so sweet. I really love that. Let me get a size on that too. This is, if you're just counting the magnet part, three inches. So I think that's two inches probably. Yeah, three by two inches. Very, very cute. And I think I will be including some of these threaders in giveaway in the giveaway. Okay, I have one more kit to show you. And I just think this is just adorable. So this is also the No Name Manufacturer. It's a pretty good size kit. It's a 50 by 45. Set that aside. So we have our instructions for cross stitch. We have our toolkit with five needles, the threader, and the adjustable thimble. And then let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is the picture. I will put it up here in the corner on the screen. It's summer gnomes. And they're like at the beach, at the water, ride and blow up floaties like a flamingo. One sitting in a beach chair and the other one has a um, blow up, um, what are they, hoop things around his waist. I just thought they were adorable and this just screamed summer. You know I like my gnomes. This is an 11 count. There's your product number, the size, 50 by 45. And this pattern is super colorful too. 40 colors. It's printed really super clearly. Yes, there is quite a bit of confetti, but there's some nice color blocking areas too. The bottom, look how, look at that confetti. That's crazy confetti. And then, yeah, there's a lot of confetti in this. And then up at the top too. It'll keep you busy for a while. Nice clear legend, very clear symbols. The symbols on this will match the symbols on your fabric. Let's take a look at this because I'm thinking, is this pattern bigger than the fabric? Let's see. It's almost as big. This pattern is almost as big as, I would say it's as big with just maybe half an inch to spare all the way around as the actual paper pattern is. That's wonderful. I think with all that confetti, you really need that. Let's take a look at this and compare it to the last one because the last one with the owl, we had those three symbols that were all the same color, which was a light lavender. 
hard to see. Let's see if there's any problems with this one. But so far, I mean, we've got some reds over here together, but you can really tell the difference. I think it's because it's 11 count. That 18 count L just made everything so much smaller. This is very clearly printed. It's not going to be a problem at all. We've got wonderful serged edges here. I just thought this was a really fun, really cute picture. I mean, the colors on this are great. Let's take a look at those. Now, I think this, does this have a pink sky? I think it kind of has a pink sky, which is interesting. Okay, so of course it does, because here's our hank of pink. This color is... Thirty-six eighty-nine. It's like a medium pink. This has forty strands of floss in it. You'll divide each strand up into threes. So a strand of six, you'll divide into threes. And then we have all the colors to go with it here. Let's see. Wow! Look at that. There are just so many different shades of blue. And then we've got orange and gold, pink and purple. Such pretty colors. Uh, quite a few grays, like a dark burgundy purple. What color is that? That is 154. There is no 310 in this at all. And then on the other side, more pinks, some dark colors, some dark blues, dark fuchsia. What is that one? 26. This is 951, so that's like a darker ivory. And then we've got some golds here. Such pretty colors. This kit will be adorable when it's done. I just had to get this kit because to me it was so summery and they're at the beach and they're wearing their little water toys and they're just being silly and I just thought it was so sweet. What a cute kit. Nice soft floss. They give you plenty but make sure you, uh, I always say, make sure you stick to that product number so in case something happens. Now this doesn't have it written on it like the other one didn't but I would write it on there just to be on the safe side so in case they get separated you know what kit this goes to and this was $11 for a kit this size with all the floss the paper pattern the instructions uh, money well spent the organizers that I showed you were $7.75 the L was $5.25 and the threader was $5 great great prices from DIY digital art and they have great prices on ev everything I really like their promotions they have going on right now too if you have not been to DIY digital art please go check them out and see what you think you might find something there that you like they have um, everything categorized up really nicely so things are really easy to find on their website I hope you enjoyed this video if you do, please hit the like button. I thank you so very much for watching. Keep your eye open for the giveaway. Have a wonderful day, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.